the law really has these two results because of our sinful nature. Yeah. And one of those is we become puffed up with pride because we think we're killing it, right? Yeah. We think we're yeah. doing it. And exactly. then we're looking around at the people around us and thinking, well, they haven't grown as much as I have. Well, they're really struggling with that sin. Maybe they're really not saved. Yeah. Uh, or we come to the point of despair. Mm -hmm. And that's really what the law does to us when it's not placed in the proper context. Yeah. And it's only when we understand the, the centrality of the gospel in the full and complete freedom we have in Christ and his righteousness that the law then becomes a guide where we don't have to be doing those things. We don't have to be in despair on the one hand, and we don't have to be judging others on the other hand, but it's only when the gospel has its right and central place, and mm. we find our identity there. Yeah, so this would be the law-gospel distinction. Right. Okay, because I do think, you know, that distinction of, I guess, God's two words, right. two ways he speaks to his people, I think that sort of framework isn't readily available in everyone's mind. So it's a bit convoluted in that you just mash them both together at all times. And when you don't have that distinction, you don't quite know where to go. So you misapply, right? you know. Um, yeah, I mean, I think that's the root of, of a lot of these issues is a mm -hmm. misunderstanding of law and gospel. Mm -hmm. uh, and the idea that God does speak in these two different ways. Mm -hmm. God gives promises and God gives commands, mm -hmm. right? Promises are his gospel and his commands are his law. Um, now, we're not saying that the gospel is good, the law is bad. They're right. both good, both but good. they have different functions. And if we, can't, if we don't distinguish the functions rightly, we get all confused. Uh, and so where we find our assurance is never in the law, but it's in the gospel, in what Christ has done for us. Uh, so there's a you know, common uh, way of, of teaching this reality that we teach to our kids and catechism and stuff, which is SOS, which is the, just the summary of what this is, is that the law shows our sin, the gospel shows our savior. Uh, and um, we have to see that distinction because mm -hmm. all sorts of things just practically get all mangled when we don't have that distinction clear. Yeah. Uh, so it's something we got to keep before our minds all the time. And, and you know, CFW Walther, I mentioned his book earlier, mm -hmm. which is a great work on this. Um, you know, he basically says it's the whole life of the theologian and just the Christian in general, not to be a theologian, but, right. but just of the Christian to figure out when to apply which because we're so apt to do the wrong things. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I think in and of ourselves, this is what, one of the reasons why we need God's word to come from outside of us, mm -hmm. because inside of us, we tend to apply these wrong, right? We're in despair over our sins, and our natural temptation is to condemn ourselves even more. Yeah. To say, yeah, I really messed up. Oh, look at God's life messed up. And you just keep burdening yourself with that, and you're just heaping condemnation upon yourself. And that's why you need that word outside of you yeah. of gospel to say, no, you're forgiven. Christ has taken your sin. Yeah. And on the other hand, when we're living in sin and we don't want to repent, we're not going to tell ourselves the law because we don't want to feel that. It doesn't feel good. So we tell ourselves, well, I'm forgiven so I can keep doing it. Yeah. Right. So that's, and it's in that place that someone needs to bring the law to us and we need to hear, no, God has said this is wrong and his law brings condemnation. Yeah. And then that brings us back to the gospel. Yeah. So there's this kind of cycle throughout the Christian life. And this is what Martin Luther talked about in the 95 Thesis is this daily repentance is there is this cycle of we see our sin, we're condemned, and then we flee to the gospel for refuge. Mm -hmm. And then we look to the law as a guide for our lives, but then we mess up again. Yeah. And then we go back to the law to condemn us, and that brings us back to the gospel. Yeah. So it is this kind of cycle that we do live in day after day. That's what the life of repentance is. But the important thing is that the gospel is the final word. That's the, the, the most important and ultimate word that defines who we are rather yeah. than the law. Yeah.